everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Rhonda, and I'm also known as the Sparkly One. Thank you for joining me today. I have a really fun project. This is Bernay Pop Yarn, and I just started a project that is great for a beginner. I wanna show you exactly how to do this step by step. We're gonna do this together. It's gonna to be a quick video, so it's gonna be an easy project. I'm using a size J hook, which is a bigger size hook, and this yarn, which is super soft and just, it's so wonderful, I love it. If you wanna learn how to crochet or if you are a crocheter, this is gonna be a great gift for the holidays and everyone is gonna to wanna to learn how to do this. So I think it's really pretty. I just wanted it to lay flat like this so I can put a jacket on around it and keep my neck warm. If you like this look, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Oh, and just a helpful tip is that when you're crocheting, always pull from the middle of the skein. If you reach in there and you pull out like a little chunk of yarn, it will have the other end in there. So you're not pulling from the outside where it's gonna roll around on the floor. You're always just gonna pull from the inside. So make sure you do that. I have a size J hook and I have my yarn. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a slip stitch. So basically what you're doing is you're making like a pretzel. Do you see the pretzel? And then you're gonna stick this hook right under that piece and you're just gonna tighten it up just like that. Then I'm gonna chain 90 chains. So I've chained 90 chains. And at this point what you're gonna do is put it around your neck and see if you like that length. I'm gonna keep mine a little bit shorter and you're gonna see that um, in the beginning of the video. So if you look at that, you'll see how small mine is compared to the one that you wanna make. It might be a little longer, a little shorter, but you can do whatever you want. So now that you have your 90 chains, what you'll do is you're gonna take your chains and you're gonna flatten it out and you wanna keep it straight. So you're gonna hold, you're gonna hold your finger down on this part and then you're just gonna drag it along and keep it nice and flat. So you wanna make sure that you're not twisting it. So just carry it over like that and just keep walking it along and keep that braid side up. So you can see that braid side, the other side's kind of like a little knobby side. So keep the braid side up and just keep smoothing it out, keeping it flat, just like that. And you know what, if you twist it, I think it would actually be a little bit better. That's how I like to have my scarf so it's not totally laying flat on my neck. So you're just gonna put your hook inside of the chain just like that. And you're gonna make a slip stitch and you're gonna pull it through. So there's your chain. The next step for this scarf is to chain one. Then you're gonna look at this chain right here. You're gonna skip that chain and you're gonna go into the next chain. You're gonna single crochet. And you're gonna chain one. So this chain one space is actually making a space so that when you go around in the spiral that you can crochet inside that chain one space. So you're gonna do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the next row. You're at the end of your row right here. So it's gonna look like this, here's your tail. And for me, there's one space left so I'm gonna go ahead and go into that space. I skipped over a chain and I'm going to draw up my yarn, pull through, chain one. So now, as you can see, I'm gonna be going into the next row. Now we're not joining because we're doing it in a spiral. So what you'll do is you're gonna go into this space right here, which is a chain one space. Do you see that right there? So you're gonna single crochet into that space, and then you're gonna chain one. So that's where it joins. So all these chain one spaces that you just made is where you're gonna do another single crochet. And you're going into the chain one space, 
you're going to single crochet and you're going to chain one and you're going to continue to do this all the way around so you're going to single crochet chain one find that space you're going to go in there single crochet chain one find the space single crochet chain one find the space single crochet chain one you're going to do that all the way around and then I'm going to meet you where it joins the next row. So now that you have a few rows done, I want you to take it and measure it over your head and see if that's the length that you want. I just want mine to be a little bit shorter. Usually I have them longer, but I just think this would be great and it's a good length for me. And this is 90 stitches. Yours might be a little longer or a little shorter depending on the size of the hook that you're using. So make sure at least when you're doing your chains to hold the chains around your neck and measure. And actually it shrinks up a little bit when you start going around. So I think that this for me would be perfect. So don't forget to measure. And what you do is you will continue around the scarf working in a spiral. Always single crochet in that chain one space. So you're gonna go around the whole entire cowl until you get um, the thickness that you desire. And it's gonna be really pretty because we're gonna start seeing the variation in the colors as we go along. So I wanna show you this. This is where the color is just now starting to change and it looks so pretty. I love when the colors change because it kind of refreshes you and it's not as boring. So I think it's so pretty and I cannot wait to see when this is finished and to see how many colors um, it's gonna have in there, so. Keep on crocheting one row at a time. So it's been about an hour or so and I am this far in my on my cowl. This is how far it's come. So if you see this line in the middle of my work, do you see that like the holier line right there? That's because mine is twisted. And so instead of working in sections that are just gonna be different colors like this, it's doing a spiral. So it's working the top and the bottom at the same time. So that's why it looks like that. But I wanted mine twisted. If you don't want yours twisted, just make sure you keep that chain straight and then you're gonna um, have it be, the color changes are going up in a stripe. As you do this, it gets smaller and smaller. So make sure you try it on. Thanks for joining me. Have a blessed day. Take care. Bye.